Now let's open up the box and see what all is in fact inside. Okay, I have gone ahead and removed the outer sleeve and we're going to open this up together. Okay, so I am a sucker for packaging. If they package things well, it shows me their priorities as their company and how much that they actually want their item to work. I know that's kind of a weird logic, but at the same time, if you see something that's poorly packaged, that just shows me that the company itself doesn't care about what's inside. That is not the case here. They definitely care what's inside. The user manual and then also the wireless monitor user manual are together. And then under that we have this foam layer. The foam layer also protects everything that is inside. Everything inside is cushioned by additional styrofoam. So in my opinion, this is extremely good packaging and definitely shows their priority to keeping what's inside intact. Now, additionally, there is some bubble wrap being used right here. And then everything just kind of has a place that is specific for it. So there is no wiggle and no rattle, which is huge. Now, let me just mention, I have received a lot of packages over the span of six years of travel. And this is just what I have learned throughout time. These are my opinions, of course. And so I always point that out though, because I think that that is important when a company cares about their product and how it arrives to you, knowing that after it leaves their hands, it goes through a series of other hands. And we've all seen packages that have just been smashed in the process. But because of how they packaged this, even if it were to take a few hits, it's still okay. Okay, inside the package itself though, this is the camera and the camera has this little piece on top of it. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And then also with one hand, if this is possible, we'll wiggle this out. I, I may have to pull these things out um, not on camera just because they are in here super good. Okay, I got it out and this is what it looks like. This is the camera itself. This is a hefty hefty feeling item. This is very nice. It actually has a few interesting things on here. We have a power button on the front and then there is a little tiny block here. I don't know what that is yet. We're going to look to find out. It looks as though you can tilt the camera in a variety of different ways. And also there's a little connector cord right here, which I believe goes to a cable. We're about to find out. But first I wanted to do something kind of fun. It says that it's magnetic and it already has a huge magnet built into it. So so let's put it on the fridge oh yeah oh yeah that that's that's a good it's a good strong bond on that magnet in fact the refrigerator it's kind of hard to see this but the refrigerator is shaking all the while the camera is not moving on the other side of that here is the actual screen it is nice this is a very nice size screen this is about the same size as the one i have in my van and it's a full color display so that's really cool and you can see here that there's a variety of different kinds of buttons on here so you can make adjustments and then also control the brightness of the display so sometimes whenever i am driving at night i like to flip on my night display which darkens the screen so it's not just a blasting white light you can do that on this one as well which is super super cool now when we push the buttons let's see okay those are nice and easy to use they have a full click so you can actually hear that it engages the button so that's really nice and again very substantial in quality now underneath where the display screen was located right here you have all of the cords and little interesting mounting pieces you have this which actually plugs your screen in so it gives it power from your van you could use this on your van or you could use this through a power station independent um, then they also have these which are how you set it up so that you can adjust it and you can mount it so that's all right in here and then on this side we have some additional pieces these are pretty hefty also let's see what this is this oh this is a massive bracket right here okay that's very interesting this is how you can actually mount it to your dash it has a 3m sticker on it and then it has a suction cup end also so this is going to be how you can adjust it this thing i believe sets up and probably bends but let me let me play with it a little bit 
sure enough, I'm, I'm sitting here just like fumbling with it. And as you pull it apart, it can be adjusted into a series of different shapes. And so that means that you could mount this and then stick it to your windshield with this and then bend it into the place that represents how you would like the angle. And then on this end, it has an additional thing that tightens and then also loosens so that you can change the angle yet a different way. And that is really, really cool. I have something similar to this in my van for my phone mount and I love it. So this is super simple to use and very easy to install because all you have to do with this is dampen this just a little bit, stick it to where you want it to be, and then there's actually a thing that tightens it into place. And whenever you do that, it sucks to the windshield solid and you're good to go. Also included are some additional 3M clips. And I think that them using 3M is just such a wise thing because I have a GoPro mount that has literally been mounted to my dash of my old adventure car for over four years and it hasn't gone anywhere. 3M makes super good products and for them to acknowledge that and use that is in my opinion a quality move by Halo. Another thing that's very nice about the packaging is within here you actually have some labels for the items that you're picking up so it gives you an idea as to what they're used for which I think is so important especially for someone who is just getting started on the road and has never had to install something like this before. It just takes the guesswork out of things. So now let's find out what is this in the box wrap. Okay, so this is another kind of cord for plugging it in. So we have two different options for power. We have one that we can plug into a traditional wall plug. Um, a lot of people, whenever they're converting vans, have these. So this would be super simple for them to plug into. And then we also have the one that you can plug into your cigarette lighter or your 12 volt. And so that's really cool too. Additionally, there are two small antennas. Of course, on the photo, we saw that those antennas would be hooked to each part of the device.